Over the past years, Formula 1 had some pretty bad drivers like Nikita Mazepin back in 2021, but in 2016, F1 would see its first ever Indonesian driver with the name of Rio Horianto. But who is he? And how bad was he in Formula 1? Rio Horianto was born in Surakarta, 22nd of January 1993, making him 30 years old at the moment. He did his karting debut in 2005 during the junior class of GP Karting FFSA, but in classic fashion, I just simply skipped a career, karting career because long videos, my ass. Well, his first jump into cars was in the 2008 Formula Renault Asian Challenge, where he would finish 6th with 160 points. He also got 2 wins at total of 3rd podiums, and also finished 3rd in the 2008 Formula Asia 2.0, getting 1 win and also 5 podiums to his name. In 2009, he did the Formula BMW Pacific with 250 points, getting 6 wins and 12 podiums, and in 2010, he'd make the jump to the GP3 Series, finishing 5th with only 27 points, getting a win and 3 podiums with Manu Racing. He would also be a test and reserve driver for Virgin Racing, 2011, and he stays with Manor Racing the GP3 series, he'd get 31 points but finished 7th with the championship getting 2 wins and 4 podiums, and in Abu Dhabi he would drive with Downs in the GP2 season finale in Abu Dhabi. Then, he got signed up by Colin for the 2012 GP2 season, where, he had, where he'd finished 14 with no wins, podiums and just one pole position. In 2013 GP2 season with Barva Adak's team, it would become even worse because he would be 19 with the standings with just one podium. Season 3 in 2014 with Equay 8 Captain Racing is only 15th place, getting only one podium. So he stayed in the series for season 4 with Campos and to finally have a good season. Scoring 3 wins in Bahrain, Red Bull Ring and Silverstone, get 5 podiums and end 4th in the championship. And in 2016 he would become a Mano Racing driver in F1, meaning he would make history to become Indonesia's first ever Formula 1 driver. In his debut he would randomly DNF and apparently get most of Driver of Today votes. Although he didn't get it, it was Roman Grosjean who finished 6th on his house debut. Ariantis' first result of the season would be 15th place in Monaco and in Austria where teammate Pascal Verlain scored points for Mano, Harianto finished 16th. After the Hungarian Grand Prix, Harianto would be demoted to a reserve driver role due to financial reasons and get replaced by Esteban Ocon, and therefore his Formula 1 dream would come to an end. In 2018, he finished 5th in the Audi R8 LMS Cup, but it was just an individual race. In 2019, he joined T2 Motorsport in GT World Challenge Asia, finishing 12 on 62 points and one podium, and in 2021, again with T2 Motorsport in the Asian Le Mans series, getting 41 points and finished 9th. But what now? Well, judging by his Instagram post, he doesn't seem to care about Motorsport anyway. It's whatever he's doing, which needs to be golf or whatever. Then good luck to him. Anyway, that'll be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you next time. And goodbye.